Yeah, I just want to uh, I want to speak to you about that actually. I spoke to Barry about it. But let's up? you know. Uh, I mean, I know you you guys and kind of Shiro had like a little problem. You know, I know we spoke about it in the past. Like, how, how yeah, do you, I mean, where, where do you guys stand with them? Because like you know, right now, you know, we uh, we tend to uh, we tend to you know somewhat hold down money running. You know what I mean? It's kind of our business. A lot of the times I see kind of Shiro, and I'm a I'm a Barovia Jaeger. I don't like the motherfuckers. I don't I don't like Kaneshira, right? But I don't I don't solely about you know the respect I got for you, I don't rob them and I tell my crew not to rob them, you know? I mean I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh our in my relationship with Kaneshira is difficult. To say the least, right? It's uh I mean, I'll just tell you. Uh basically how it went was this, right? Uh we're pushing meet up there, right? I wanted Kaneshiro up there, and so did the guild. And I wanted them up there because we can just push anyone the fuck out that wanted to push, right? And we didn't know how we'd really worked, and if having 100%, you know, on the app fucking meant anything. None of that really fucking matters at this point, but we'd fucking died, and we were still pushing it. And our strain was still 100. And it got to the point where the rest of the guild pretty much took it into their hands and created a whole fucking network up there. And Kanashiro wasn't really pushing. So they're like, you know, we got to cut you out, right? And that created some rifts. Uh, some valid points were made on both sides. Uh, I don't think anyone is necessarily in the right between that argument, but some people in the guild were selfish, and some people in Kaneshiro were treating them like shit. Uh, but we're past that. I mean, I would like for you to not fuck with Kaneshiro. It sucks seeing people I care about fight, but I'm not ignorant enough to say, like, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? But, oh, yeah, well, that, well, that's what I'm asking is, like, I mean, you know, you know, you know how it gets out there, dog. You know what I'm saying? Are you asking me permission to go after Kanashiro? No, I'm not asking you permission. I'm saying, would you mind if they do get robbed? That's what I'm saying. Would that be I a mean, problem I'd with like you? I'd like you not to, but like, what am I gonna say? I don't want my fucking people like like to get robbed. But well, I'm basically asking like, how close are you with them still? You know what I mean? Like, are you still that close? That like, you're still bothered if they get robbed? I mean, yeah. I I'm not gonna be happy about it, but it's not like I'm gonna fucking hate you. I would like to you to not rob them. Okay. So if they do get robbed by, you know, somebody in the besties, <laughs> you wouldn't... What am I going to do? Fucking... Look. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, Forehead's it's, it's, a fucking idiot. L l listen. You guys are idiots. <laughs> but you almost threw your life away from me. <laughs> what, what am I supposed to say? You know? I would prefer if you guys didn't fight and I don't want you to. But what, what am I going to say? Forehead. You have a whole ass gang to think of. It's not an easy answer, right? Yeah. Um, well, I have something else to tell you. What's that? You know, a while back when we had, uh, you know, some problems with the with Kanish Kanishiro. Kanishiro's? Kanishiro? Well, yeah, a while back when we had some problems with them. Um, you know, we took their phone, took Mary's phone. Wait. You remember, remember this, start, right? Like, start over? I think you remember this, right? Like, we had, a while, like a month ago or two months ago, we had, we had that little problem. And I was going to tell you something I never told you. Remember that? Uh, yeah, start, start from the beginning. All right, so, you know, we had that little problem with them. I don't exactly remember what it was. But uh, they took our phones, and then so we took their phones back. Went through their stuff, you know? Now, I don't know how much you're gonna care, right? But... I... Was, I don't know, right? Maybe you care, maybe you don't. But let's just say... Went through Mary's phone... As she was working with the cops. And JJ's phone. And JJ's phone. Don't forget JJ. She was texting cops, like... I don't know... Okay, this was a while ago, right? But... She was, like, texting cops pictures of, like... Of her house... 
of like people being outside of it, attacking her house or something. Like she was, she was blatantly Wait, like working with the cops on the phone. And she was telling them shit about CG, no? I think so, yeah. yeah and probably. During that time, CG, we were at fucking war with them. And they were stupid enough to... Uh, uh, okay, keep keep going. What do you mean she was she was texting about well, your house? No, no, like her house. She, she was like working with the cops. Like I said, I don't know how much you care about this, but I mean, they'll never tell oh. you. They'll not tell you, right? Yeah. So the reason Mary was talking to the cops is because Rami, for whatever fucking reason, decided to scream that we ran into our house after we shot Mr. Kea. And then obviously we had to say, no, we're not running into our house. And this is why. But yeah, that, it was a whole fucking thing. All right. Oh, yeah, girl, I'm going to be honest. Ford's kind of sugarcoating it a bit. They're known snitches, and they work with feds. They're rats. They're informants. <laughs> and we okay. saw the proof. Well, let's relax. We saw all the proof. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to just keep it blunt. Yeah, keep and you blunt. can. And uh, working with the police sometimes is justifiable. Like when Rami yells, they're in the house, they're running in the house. We're not going to lose everything because Rami wants to scream some stupid shit. And that's just how it is. Now, you continue. You, what what happened with it? And I, I mean, I'll be real with you, right? Like, I, I'll just tell you straight up. Um, whenever whenever um, Mary was at the courthouse talking about, like, this is when uh, people were buying gun licenses. Yeah, that was stupid. I already talked with her about that. Yeah, I told so her she should not do that. We might have told some people that they snitches, when uh, you know she started snitching on us. You know, you know, you know how it goes. Who did you tell? You people. Okay, who? <laughs> who did we tell, Future? We told Vinny Pistone. We gave him access to the phones. He looked through. He saw the same information we did. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm pretty sure Rami and Mr. K went on, like, are on record testifying that I shot them. So I really don't give a fuck about people thinking others are snitches, to be honest with you. Fair enough. Well, listen, Aldo will just tell you, right? That's what, that's what, you know, Aldo will be straight up with you. We've been through, we've been through enough stuff together to, like, the point where, like, I don't, I don't really want to hide things, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I appreciate that. I mean... Uh, yeah, it sucks that you fucking went to Vinny, the dumbest motherfucker alive that we were in war with. I get that. But Mary did fuck up with the gun license show, and I told her as such, and she understands I was stupid. But there are differences, and there are times to work with the police, and there are times to do shit like that. That gun license shit was not one of them. And she understands that. All right, well... This is kind of old news, right? Like this happened a while back, but um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, is that what you wanted to tell me at the tree? Yeah, that was a tree. That was yeah. a tree meeting. I mean, it sucks, but. Well, you know, back then it would have been a bit different. If I, you see, you see what I'm saying, You're back, you know, I mean, yeah, you, you know. Yeah. I I can see. I probably would have reacted different yeah. back then. Yeah. I mean, God, God, I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> who? Wait, who? Vinny. Hey, you got uh. a motherfucker on twatters saying "fuck your turf." I don't know if you know that. Who said that? Wait, what? Look a few seconds ago, when Matthew twatted out, "fuck Polito." Then you got another uh, man remember retweeting that shit. See, I think you love staring, bro. Well, I'm gonna be completely honest, Jaeger. Um, we don't fuck with them, right? We know that, uh, from what we've seen, we believe them to be federal informant snitches, rat snakes. You know, I'm just keep it a buck with you. you know, uh, sure, yeah, I, I, you don't need to them. fuck with them. And I understand that you guys are like around at the same time, and it probably fucking sucks having foreheads say, "Yo, don't do this shit to them." Especially for you, Future. I mean, I appreciate it. And I would like for you guys not to do anything to them. Just like I would say the same exact thing to them. But 
I'm also, again, not ignorant enough to think that me not wanting you guys to fight will ever truly stop something like that. But as the snitch shit, uh, I do really think it is different than you think. I mean, the context you put, like, okay, in my, listen, in my opinion, snitching is snitching, right? But the context you put it in, if that is the context, I mean, I mean, to me, it's still snitching. But then it's just, two wrongs don't make a right, you know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. And again, like Forex said, Jaeger, like, the only reason we haven't done anything is out of respect for you, man. We've told other people in our gang that, you know, don't do this because, you know, the affiliation and ties we have with you and what you've done for us in the past. And I'm going to be honest, I feel like I thought you would have uh, seen it a little differently knowing, like, how involved you were with the sanguine shit, you know, how much you don't like cops, but then you got motherfuckers over here directly working with them. So I honestly would have thought you weren't going to be cool with it a bit. I mean, if you have context to it and you seem to agree with what they did or not agree with it or just understand the position they're coming from, then that makes sense. Well, again, the way I think of it is when you have a business, and especially when your house is being directly fucked over, you have to work with them. Like, what, what are you supposed to say in that situation? That fuck the odds? They're going to go in and take everything from you. You can't be willing to lose that shit because Rami said something stupid. I mean, that's the way I view it, at least. In that scenario with those texts, by the way, I told all of them to not testify. And they called us to do that. And we said no. Not testifying <laughs> fucked us over really fucking badly, if I'm being honest with you. And then... I get a call a week later, or maybe two weeks later, saying Rami, or K, I think it was Rami or K, literally testified against me. So, I'll be honest, I don't really give oh. a fuck. I can't remember which one, though. Who the fuck are these people? Who is Kylie Kane? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's Manor as well. Who the fuck is the Manor? Uh, some fucking corn dogs. You know the guys that live down on uh, Grove Street, the Mano. Yeah, they live in Little Britain. Who do, I don't know who the hell who the hell is Kylie. I think that is uh, Terry's girlfriend. I am, I believe. I'm not sure. I think. Yeah, I mean, but like I said, I would like for you guys not to, but it's not like I'm gonna fucking throw away our relationship if you do but like what, what do you want me to say right i mean that's what we're speaking to you right i could just see it see where you stand with it uh, i mean, that's I, mean fine. I i've told everyone around me that they're doing a job and you get robbed that's just you know that's just the breaks but, but that's, I'm it's, not. it's a bit different when like you yeah, know, they take yeah. your phone and shit yeah, I'm not talking like, about, I'm not talking about, like, I'm not talking about, like, going after them, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not over here trying to, like, target them and rob, like, I'm talking about when they're doing a money run or something, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of times you're, like, you know, my crew run, because, I mean, we do rob, a lot of people do money runs, right? This is what it is. That's one way for yeah. us to, like, uh, persuade people to go through Ming and Fanny, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, so there's been a lot of times where, you know, we see them doing a money run and I'm like, yo, don't do it. And we don't do it, you know? I mean, I appreciate it. Is... I don't know. But like I said, you guys are going to do whatever the fuck you want. And I do appreciate that you guys haven't done it yet. But... You know. What can I say, right? So let me ask you this if you don't make mind. you guys not do it. Who, like... I know, I know Mary is a part of Guild. Yeah. And do you, like, do you actually care for the rest of the... Kind of Shiro motherfuckers? Or do you care about Not Mary? everyone. I mean, there are some people in Kanashiro I like. I don't know all of them. There's like 30 of those motherfuckers. I can't know all of them. But there are some I do that obviously I fuck with. Like Cass and Jazz and fucking Fury. There's a lot of them that I like. But they're also a fucking king, right? 
they're gonna do gang shit, and you guys are holding down the money runs, then that's something they have to overcome or talk to you guys about, you know? But I do appreciate it. I would like you to continue doing it, but if you're gonna go back with Future and, I don't know, Ming or Fanny, I imagine Ming and Fanny fucking hate it. And it's gonna cause problems for you. Like, I don't want you to fuck over your shit to be considered a me. Yeah, I mean, but listen, though, I mean, yeah, fair enough. But I think the point for us trying to make is if we do something and they, we just don't want them to come start bitching to you like they did in the past. I mean, like I said, if they bitch to me about it, which I wouldn't say they're bitching about it. If they talk to me about it, I'll say, like, I, I like them, but, like, what, what do you expect, right? I'm coming to realize that even people that were on Sanguine together don't <laughs> fucking like each other. <laughs> Oh yeah, and oh yeah. It fucking sucks. And I'll always say the same shit. I don't want you guys to fucking fight. <laughs> but like, the world isn't that great, right? I mean, listen, you get it? There was a lot of people at Sanguine, you know? So it's pretty much impossible for all them people to get along, you know what I mean? It, it, well, it wasn't. It was fucking 50 of us. That's so a... it's, it should be very fucking easy to get along, to be honest with you. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, yes, yes, yes and no, yes and no. I, I agree with you to a certain point, but you know, when you're out here in the, in the, in the real world and uh, there's business going on and then, you know, people do Fucking 30 of them fucking died. You guys seen anyone from the fucking mayhem recently? No, I haven't like seen half them. the people that were there, you don't even fucking see. <laughs> hey, rest in peace, mayhem, you know? I, you know the thing? I like mayhem. Mayhem were, were good. You know what I'm saying? Good people.